It's lunchtime at the Guadalupe School's Early Learning Center. Young ones wash their hands, pick up a carton of milk, and get ready to dive into a bag of baby carrots. A lot of these kids really rely on the food and education they receive here. Federal relief funds that we received for COVID really were um, heaven sent. It's been a week and a half since the end of the American Rescue Plan Act's Child Care Stabilization Grant Program. Because of this, a lot of daycares and child care centers are considering raising tuition rates or lowering staff numbers and pay. So the center is actually free tuition for kids. The director tells me she'd hate to have to start charging families because of this drop in funding. It's not something that anybody wants to do. It is just the reality of it. That's why families and child care providers rallied together at the Capitol building Wednesday morning. The idea that costs are only going to go up from here and availability will go down is, is very discouraging. Um, it puts us in tough situations where we have to make very difficult decisions. William Call says his wife had to quit her job because they couldn't afford rising prices. It was either take a paid time off or or take it without pay. I mean, I'm, a lot of working families are in the same kind of situation. The Century Foundation is projecting 70,000 child care programs could close nationwide and Utah is in the top five. So if you value the people who take care of your children more than you do the teenager that watches them while you go to the movies on the weekend, then it's time to fund it that way. In Salt Lake City, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.